Obviously, our, our our first you know goal is to get to a goal, is to get to a bowl game. Excuse me. Um, that's that's the ultimate goal right now. Um, you know, obviously having a double di double digit uh, win season that'd be nice. But we gotta take it game by game. And right now, our our, our target is, is Colorado State. So. Talk oh, go ahead. Uh, a lot of depth for running back. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, Travis Tyner coming in. A lot of backs. What are your thoughts on him and the entire back? Depth and will there be enough carries for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, it's nice to know that you know, we had depth when we last year. You know, obviously we're a little thin, um, especially toward the end of the season when the AP started to get you know, dinked up. So it was difficult at times. But now that we have depth, we can use some of these guys, experienced guys too. We got two grad transfers coming in, um, Thomas, and he's been, been in big games before. And same with um, Trey. I mean, he's been in big games. He's been in two bowl games with TCU. So their experience is going to help us out a lot. Talked a lot about the the attitude changing coming into this, these, you know, these off-season workouts. Specifically, your group. I mean, there's a huge target on your back. There's a lot of hype around you guys. What's that like? Um, you know, we try try not to think anything of it. You know, we try to just play our game, do what we do, and and you know, let the rest fall in place. Yeah. So. Is it different though, coming from you know, last couple of years, you probably felt under the radar or mm -hmm. under as an underdog, yeah. and now it seems to have already flipped. Yeah, there's definitely flipping. Not only our position group, our you know our whole team started flipping. You know, kind of see it as an underdog. Guys come in, they see Oregon State on their schedule. They they think, oh, it's you know, it's a good week for us to not necessarily rest, but you know, a good week to, to really practice on their skills, whatever you want to call it. But now it's you know kind of turned the other way. You know, they're looking at us on the schedule. And they're like, oh crap, we got to face Oregon State. We really gotta you know bow up and get ready to face these guys. It's gonna be a dog fight. What has sort of shifted in that sense uh, in, internally? What uh, you say other teams obviously want to are more worried about playing Oregon State. What sort of shifted for you guys to make that turn? Um, I, I think it's just the way we carry ourselves now. Um, you know, we've had a few guys, you know, first that first year we had a lot of young guys, inexperienced, and I think that helps a lot now. You know, with experience, me, a couple of the guys on defense, and now we're juniors, seniors, you know, back then we're, we're sophomores and freshmen trying to play, um, you know, at the highest level. And um, I think that, that's a big part of it is getting experience, and, and us experience is now helping the young guys coming up. And it's just our mentality as well. It's part of the, talking about wanting to flip it, um, you know, we got to set the standard for it. So you remember seeing Thomas in high school? What were your first thoughts when you heard that news? Yeah, um, at first I was, I thought it was a joke. Like I didn't like really. I saw it on pop up on ESPN on my phone. I was like, is this like for real? Like <laughs> Jordan over there saying hello. Give a little shot of him. Um, yeah, I saw it pop up. I was like, this is a joke. I texted coach and I was like, is this for real? And because um, I know how good of a player he is. Um, he, he was incredible in high school and did great things in Oregon. So seeing him coming in and um, now working with them a little bit. And I'm excited to see what, uh, what he's going to be able to help us out with.